Thanks, Scotty. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've just come across these two lizards, and they are busy mating. I have no idea what species they are. What I do know is that the male is extremely... The, what I do know is that the female is much bigger than the male. The male's the one on the back. Any of the viewers out there able to tell me what species this is? Obviously, it's not too hot for them. The lizards are very, very, in, very, very sun-loving. And if anything, the sun has probably made them more active than they would have been. But it's marvellous. These are the things that we see on Bushwalk. And tracking a leopard, we have to stop for the smaller things. And we couldn't help but stop and watch this. This is super cool. Um, what's very interesting about most lizards is they've actually got something known as a hemipenis, which means they've got two penises, but only one will be used at one time. What the purpose of that exactly is hard to put my head around, but um, maybe it's for extended periods of copulation. I'm not sure. Okay, copy that, Faith. We are going to just hold off speaking for a short little while as uh, FC gets some tech down there. They'd like to do a little bit of a, a broadcast for us here. I wonder if any of the viewers can send their comments through the hashtag Safari Live and let me know what species these are. I'm unsure that I've even seen them before. But extremely camouflaged. And here's the male is panting quite hard. They are rather pretty. Very grey back legs. Very mottled back. But you can noticeably see how much bigger the female is than the male. She's almost twice his size. And there are multitudes of ants crawling all around the area and it's a wonder that they are so, con so consumed with their mating that they are obviously not hungry. Must be some lizard experts out there. There's a very Good afternoon and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Druma in the Sabi Sands, where we have come across a mating pair of lizards. I am unsure of the species, and I, I dare to go much closer, lest I break up their copulation performance. This is marvellous to see. We are on Bushwalk. My name is Steve Falkenbridge, and I'm joined by Senzom Kize on camera. Feel free, please, to drop your comments in the text below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know who you are. Let us know you're on board. If you probably know the species, let me know. That is a species I am not too familiar with. And the female is almost double the size of the male. And they are quite enjoying the afternoon. It's a nice, warm, sunny day with a gentle breeze coming in from the west. And we're on bushwalk in the Big Five Safari area. We were actually on the trail of a beautiful male leopard by the name of Osana. Uh, and we have halted our tracking for a moment to stop and watch this fantastic performance between these two. Yes, it does. It does, Richard. It does look like they're attacking the lizard. Um, it's it's their chance to uh, it's their chance to have a go at the lizards because normally, if the lizards were not copulating, they'd probably be munching down quite heavily on those ants. And also, the disturbance that they're doing by moving along the ground like that is probably inciting the ants to a little bit of violence, should you say. Uh, they'd always have a little bit more ego than something larger than themselves. Yes, Cheryl, this is very cool, very amazing indeed. I'd love to know from any of you out there if you know what species this is. Fortunately, I don't have my reptile book on hand. It's probably the heaviest book I own, so it's one I tend to leave at home. We don't find too many reptiles on walk, and I often take a photo with my camera and then go back and identify 
It seems as if she's a little bit over, over the task and trying to get away. But he has got her clasped behind the ear with his jaws, and he is holding on very tightly with his front legs in almost what you'd call an inguinal clasp in frogs. I have never seen this before in, in lizards. Elise says it's a large spiny lizard. That is incredible. I've never seen one before. And in fact, they are not very large. If anything, they're maybe about the female with her tail is maybe about 10 centimeters. No, probably more, probably closer to 15 with her tail. And Gina thinks it's a plateau lizard. We seem to have some, some um, confusion out there. I, I hope someone can give me the correct answer or someone can validate either of the two previous answers. Remember folks, we are coming to you live. This is happening live in the wilderness. Um, she is being, almost seems like she's being molested right now, live on TV. He is very interested. And uh, what's noticeable with most lizard species Yes, yes, Cheryl. She is far bigger than the male. It is often a case in, in many reptile species that the female is bigger. But um, hopefully she doesn't turn around and eat him after the job is done. But I was mentioning just before we started the action broadcast that most lizards have what we call a hemipenis, which means they've got two penises and only one at a time is actually used. And I need to do some reading up about that and find out exactly why they have two. It is quite a bizarre thing, really. Awesome to see. <laughs> Kathy, you're asking me some questions I honestly don't know the answer to. How long will it take these lizards to produce eggs and then how long will they take to hatch? So generally, I mean if we look at birds for example, birds lay eggs within 24 hours. Um, I would assume that because reptiles lay their eggs outside their body as well, that the production of the eggs is quite short in, in relation to when you look at um, gestation period in mammals, because a lot of the sort of the incubation happens externally. So I would assume that it would be quite a short turnaround time for the, the laying of the eggs or production of the eggs and then the incubation. Oh, she has escaped his grasp and he is not happy with her and now he is eating. I'm not sure what he's eating. Wow, look at that posturing. Her mouth is wide open. She is giving him a ver I think she is saying no means no. Yes, Linda, this is amazing. This is absolutely sensational. The lovers have now parted and they are having what seems to be a screaming match, except there's no sound. She is showing a very black mouth and he was doing something similar. It's almost, I would assume, to be a very warning sign. She's possibly saying, come back here, little man, and I shall eat you. <laughs> and off they go. The lovers have parted, and they move off back into the thickets. And so that is it from us on this live action broadcast. If you feel that you'd like to follow us further on Safari Live, please Google us and follow us further. We're still live for another two hours or so. And uh, thank you for your comments and feedback. Have a fantastic afternoon. And see